Now, just to point out before we go any further, these values are lowercase. So if I was to type an uppercase into here, so Alex as opposed to Alex, it's not going to recognize it. So I'm going to introduce a couple more functions a bit later on that are going to deal with that as well to make sure that people can't get around things like this. Um, I mean, this isn't foolproof, but it's just an example of how we can use this, uh, this string replace function. So we've got our user input. Now what do we need to do? We need to say user input new. So we can create a new variable. And this is going to be str replace. And inside of here we need to take our three arguments now. Or input our three arguments. And the first one is going to be what to find. Then what to replace. And then the user input. So we're finding what, what's ever in this array, so each element of this array. Remember this will automatically take each element of the array and search for it. And then this will take each element of this array and, and replace with a corresponding value. So And user input is obviously what the user has entered. So now let's echo, echo out the user input new and see what result we uh, achieve. So um, if I just type any old text in here and click submit, obviously we're not uh, filtering anything, we're not uh, replacing anything there. But if I was to type, uh, type the, uh, an example, let's say, uh, today I went out with Alex, Alex, Billy and Dale and I click submit, you can see that these have now been replaced. So it's quite a nifty, uh, nifty thing to do. So now what happens if I have a capital A for Alex, let's say, and a capital D for Dale? Or you could have a capital L in the middle or something like that. Let's click submit and see what happens. Now you can see that Alex and Dale are now have not been recognized as starred um, or asterisked out text. So how, how can we, you know, uh, protect against this well what we want to do is we want to um, uh, create a new variable called in user input uh, I'll call it LC standing for lowercase and I'm going to say str to lower so this is a, another function in PHP another string function it's string to lowercase and that is user input so now what we can do is say um, user input lowercase rather than the uh, user input itself and you will see if we refresh now you can see that these have been starred out however we've been faced with the problem that now everything is lowercase we've converted this whole sentence to lowercase however we do have a solution for this and this is to completely change the function that we use now don't panic because it's not particularly hard so I'm going to get rid of this LC here and get rid of this lowercase version here and we have to make one simple change and that is using the um, str I replace function so now what we can do is we can take in input and everything that we use is now going to be case insensitive so let's just try and click submit again now what you can see is that we've used an Alex with a capital A, a Billy with a small b, and a Dale with a, 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 a capital D. However, we've maintained the structure of our sentence with being the case that we've specified, but we've also um, changed the words. Um, the only thing we haven't done is maintain the capital D, B and A on that, but that, that really doesn't matter, I mean, depending on the way your program works then it's not a massive issue and for this example it's not going to be a massive issue. So that's basically we've introduced you to um, um, a new function str i replace and also earlier the str lower function as well. So this is basically um, how to create a little sensor um, program with the functions that hopefully you've already learnt about. If you haven't learnt about these functions and you are confused at this point go back and have a look at the functions um, on their own and just try to determine how to use them before you start combining to create things like this.